Hello and welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons episode 13. And today we're going to be uh we're going to be making this hammer. I have it in my hand already. It's pretty exciting. Let's get into it. And to give you an idea what it is, it's uh it's a hammer from Tinker's Construct and this is what it allows us to do. Now it's a little bit slow right now. It's going to get really fast and faster as I go, but um nine blocks at a time and wherever you aim it'll do nine around where you aim so you could do it like that like that do, we'll do the <laughs> straight up like this pretty cool and then if you come to something like this you kind of got to wiggle it around you can just go like that and it does like that it's pretty amazing pretty cool but uh it <laughs> that's a lot faster than doing row you know i would have to do nine rows like that so let's uh go and show you how we made this thing first off this was crucial to the process um aluminum or berry farm that i made paid off big time so we're over here at this tinker uh, tinker's construct smeltery and this is what it wanted to do, us to do at first and make a thing of alamite um I was able to do it, but I tried a bunch of different ways. It said to put it into dust, and I tried making nuggets with a um, with the obsidian, and it tr tried to make it. I melted it and I put it into ingots, um, and I went up here and let's show us. I'll show you what I I did with the ingot maker. Let's see this thing. And alloy smelter right here. This. Um, I was able to make this mold. You make um, you make this mold and then place it on there and pour um, the the aluminium bronze on, and you make a cast like that. And I made this. Then I came over here and I put this here. But if I, no matter what I put on this side of obsidian, it would not make this um, the nugget. So let's see if. Obsidian nugget. This. And I even do the recipes on this. The only thing that shows up through the NEI is this way. So I made um, some nuggets, but that didn't even pay off because I made the nine nuggets out of it, or the 18 nuggets out of a block, and then put them right back in there. It, it didn't matter. So I ended up with just using the. Um, that's always fun to drop down. I just used the uh, full blocks. So. <sighs> It's kind of a recipe to make this. There's a there's a there's an exact science to it. Let's see. Let's find out if I can actually. Could I pour an ingot out? I'll just pour an ingot out just to show us here. And here we go. I think I can just pour that ingot there. And we'll let it cook up. And we'll swap that back out. This right here. There we go. Now it's showing up. Then this, is. so it's this much millibuckets of molten aluminum that we got from the berries. I put probably to make all these two quests, the single ingot plus um, the hammers and all the different parts for the actual hammer, probably 15 to 20 um, of these, and then it was 15 to 20 um, uh, molten obsidian uh, blocks. So maybe. 12 blocks and then ingots about 20 around there so, you know it's because it's their 32 but and a ton of uh aluminium berries now the berries i actually ended up with the molten aluminum those i ended up with extras of that which is okay um i'm gonna be using it up or i'll be using i'll, I'll be using it and so i probably could have got away with a farm half that size or just not as often how i ended up with the um the obsidian i don't have an easy source of lava uh, and i filled up all these and i said wait a second if i just jump up there i grabbed them so i've emptied almost all of these and i have to go refill them and then i went like that i don't want to use it it just poured over it and let's see much how much we have left oh boy only a little bit. We can't do it. I gotta put it in there. If I 
I put it right here? No, I gotta put it upwards. There. So I made the obsidian blocks and then just melted them down. Sure enough, then I made the ingot, and that gave us this quest. And I should have chose the block of gold, but I ended up with this and got a bad reward, or maybe the thaumium tool rod. I don't know. I don't know what that does, so don't know. Then the next quest was this. I said, okay, I have to make two of these plates. The plates are actually made with, um, to make the, um, the blank, I had to use a stone. And it got burnt up, yeah. So I had to, I had regular stone, not cobblestone, in that. So let's see, just like this. So I made the hammer, the tough rod pattern, and this. And then I put them on there. I put that on there and made the cast. So we had the cast. And then I just started making, um, I think I made the, let's see, I made the head out of steel. I should not have made the rod out of uh, alumin, uh, uh, alumite. I don't know why I did, but it, it was an accident. Maybe something else I could have put it on iron. I don't know. And then the two large plates, I made both those out of alumite as well. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but I've got a, a really good pick on, or a uh, hammer time, a uh, hammer. Um, right after that, somebody suggested in the comments that I could I went to here, I put my hammer on there and made sure it was full, full, full up. And a block of gold and one diamond added a modifier because it didn't have any modifiers available. And then I just, that allowed me to put the 50 redstone on there. So it made it faster. So all in all, it was a pretty cool, um, you know what we could do? Let's see if we can upgrade the, this to Alamite. Or should we do something else? Let's see. Maybe the shovel or the hatchet. Hmm. We don't use the hatchet too often. Let's try the shovel. And so what we'll do is we'll put this, I don't know if it's going to be a bad idea, <laughs> or let that melt down. It takes a little while to melt. We'll put that in there, and where's the shovel head? Right here. We'll take that off. We'll take all three of these off, because I guess I really don't. What? Quest complete. One block mining is so old school. Oh, that, that got me the credit, I guess. Don't know why. And we'll put those in there. I do want to make this item as well. Uh, I want to make a lumber axe. Um, wow. I probably, I need all the, I need the alumite for that. But I, I'm going to find enough, um, what do you call it? Lava. That It's on my list to do. I'd like to make that. There's so many different things I'd like to make now. The lumber axe, the battle axe, all kinds of, the excavator. Oh boy. <laughs> There's so many things. Okay, focus. Uh, let's do this. We have one ingot. Is it going to be enough to fill this thing up? Just to double check. That's the shovel head. Okay. Here we go. Please be enough. It is. So let's upgrade. I don't know if this is a bad idea. Sometimes doing stuff like this is bad. Oh, I've got to be able to upgrade it. Is that... What, what does it take to upgrade it? Or to repair it? Steel. Oh, and I've got my backpack. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll just pop this on here. It should be enough to go like this, right? Almost. I'm going to have to get some more steel on me because it's not good to have so little. But I've done a lot of work, so. And then if we just pop that on here. Now, this is the change. 16.9. Oh, we can... But shoveling? I don't, I'm not going to shovel Aradite. And what would be the, um, right now it says material is steel. What about this? Material is alumite to repair it. I do not want to do that. So that's a no-go on that. I almost got tricked. <laughs> no way. Can we melt this back down for, yep. We'll see if we get a full ingot back out of it. But yeah, that was going to trick me because this can be repaired with steel, this 
all these can be repaired with steel. So we're in good shape. I almost messed up there. Everybody's like, don't do it! Unless I have tons of alamite, then I, then I'll, then I would do it. But. Alrighty, let's see, let's see what's next. Um, we'll grab the board and open it up. Episode twelve. It should be episode thirteen, right? Yeah. Let's change that on there. There we go. And let's go over this. Okay, we're so so we're up on the roof, and right away, there's two things: the charcoal automation and charcoal blocks. Um, Last episode, I didn't know how to make those. The problem was, this machine was just turned off. If you put nine charcoal in here, it does turn it into charcoal blocks. And the reason I wanted to do that is, so I can just come over here and put it in there. These last uh, ten times longer, or you get ten, nine times longer than regular charcoal. And it, the ash is a better situation too, so I don't have to remove that as, very, as often as well. So what I've done is... These are both running on that, so I don't have to... Uh, I, it's like nine times less frequent that I have to pay attention to this. I haven't figured out how to automate these, but this stuff auto is automated nice and smoothly. And I have two more water tanks, because I, I got the impression when I was running these things that this thing was running... One of these was running out of water, and it wasn't producing enough steam because of that. So um, I'm still working on the steam tanks, but now I have that issue uh, <laughs> addressed. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I've added this because I think we're going to need this for some... And I'll even go show you. But I definitely added this because... I think we're going to do, like, sh there's some kind of recipe for, for something. Let's go take a look at it. Right over here. I've got the backpack, and we'll go over that as well. It's so nice to have it. Oh, boy. It is beautiful. There we go. So, this system, well, you, it's now I have 10 cocoa Oak ovens going. And what I've done is, this last one, I use for um, sugar cane. It goes pretty quick, and then it gets fed into this bottom one down here, and then there's sugar coal coke. I think we can cook this again. Let's see. And it turns into sugar coke. Sugar char charcoal turns into sugar coke. I thought I did some of it already, but apparently not. So let's go ahead and put that here. And then I'll just replace, oh, there it is. And that one. No, not that. <laughs> Be very careful. There we go. And then I'll just put this wood at the top. So what this thing does is, I probably should um just break one down and show you guys. Let's do it with this one. Why not? My backpack. We'll take this out. We could actually use the big, <laughs> the big weapon. <laughs> it's overkill, but let's try it. Boom. And then see that that I couldn't break, so this is fine. But this is how I built it, and then you guys can see too. All right. So, and it's this one's there, and this one's here. A double chest up here and a double chest down on the bottom. Now the thing is, the double chest has the wood in it. It drops down. It'll bypass, and it'll drop down into this one if there's space here. And then if this fills up, that's cool. So then, and then that takes the, the uh, charcoal out. The wood goes in, charcoal comes out, and it ends up down here. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's rebuild this real quick. And I still haven't got a way to empty out the creosote oil, because I don't use it very often. It, it, to, to try to use it up is really inefficient until I, until I can automate that process. There it goes. And we're full up. Perfect. Charcoal. So, so basically, all of these just go like that, and I come along and I collect the stuff at the end. 
This is for their sugar coke is for something. Oh, it's for making this flawed this stuff. So I figured I would make some, and then it was for something else as well. So I figured I might as well make a little bit. And then I just go down the line, and as I what I do is I pick a bunch of wood, and I end up with like this many stacks, like 15 stacks of wood. But we're in pretty good shape here so far. I, ideally, I want to have this full, full. So then I just pop this over here. I take that out, and I take these out. And I don't have to do this very often because now I've, I'm ahead on the charcoal uh, blocks. So this is, I can just kind of ignore this for a while. And I just broke these down fairly recently. So we're in good shape up there. Good shape up here. And I'll just fill the tops with more, um, more wood from our tree farm. I even extend, expanded the tree farm as well. Let's go like that. that and this is what I wanted the charcoal uh, blocks for I put a bunch you know I put a bunch in here but now I don't have to worry about it it, it was burning using up the charcoal really fast I don't have to worry about it now so I can just come over here make sure that's full and I'm good to go and then I can even put some in here and I can just empty that out and I'm, I'm just gonna top off the iron now there's probably a way to automate um, this part of the system. I just don't know what it is yet. So um, I'll figure that out with um, probably with hoppers and stuff and try to get this stuff to come out. And if that's the case, I'll really, I can just kind of ignore this. It'll just, it'll just pump in iron and pump out the uh, steel. Pretty cool. I expanded this. Um, I get some, it's just unbelievable the amount of wood I get out of here. Really nice. And that's for the for the sheep and everything and the chickens and everything. Because I still want EXP because I've actually used the EXP to get um, obsidian dust, which was kind of weird. So I just drop, drop down in here and I pick all these gold and the EXP barriers. And I used ate a lot of them to get the uh, obsidian that I needed as well. There's all that. And we'll show you the obsidian thing that I made. I made a bigger, two bigger tanks. Instead of having four those uh, smeltery tanks, uh, these hold 16. And I just take four of these out of here. And then I arrange it like this. One, two, three, four. Here, here, and here. And we'll show you the recipe for that. I think it's right there. Then I was getting the obsidian dust. And I needed, I think I did this like, tw I got like 20 of these dusts. To be able to pull that pull that off, so it was quite a bit, but it was worth it. I can just put that back in there. Oh, got our pet horse there. Very nice, very nice. And we'll pop this in here. Then we're gonna go upstairs. Tiny piles of ashes. This probably turns into this, right? Let's try that. And we can probably just get rid of this one. Or this leftover. Cool. And can we get that and that? Nice. And we'll pop this one right there. We'll go up here. And this is the how I was making the charcoal blocks. And it's a little bit of a bonus. You get a bonus piece of charcoal because it, the burn time is like 10% better. So it's worthwhile to do. And I just pop that in there. Drops it on down. This is macerating, so I got a bunch of uh, um, stuff like that. Uh, it doubled it, basically. It's doubling these. I get two, and then I cook these off, and I get one, you know, so it doubles my ore that way. I made a steam forge hammer so that I don't have to use my iron to um, smash these things down. Let's see if I can turn this thing on real quick. Just let it do it. its job. And there it comes. Wow, that was fast. And I was putting cobblestone in here even to get a bunch of uh, gravel. So I got a bunch of gravel that way. And we'll pop that back there. And let's go downstairs. Pretty cool. <laughs> and we'll pop that in there. 
and we'll let this cook. How many of these do we have left? Quite a few. Let's use those, but it's not going to hardly make a dent. I only have one. <laughs> That's nothing. All right, let's take a look at the, the list. We've done the charcoal. And then the stock. You ever want to use one of these things? It's kind of interesting. I guess you click. I clicked a bunch of items, and then it lists how many things I have um, of those items in nearby things. It's uh, Let's see if we can hover over it. It doesn't really tell you there, but there was a quest for it. I don't know what the usefulness of this is, but um, it's something. Put it over here for reading later. <laughs> oh, I sleep. Can I sleep? It? Yeah, I can sleep. I, I didn't want to get stuck there. Nice. That was just a weird item. It was a quest item. The barrel. The barrel to upgrade. See this barrel over here? We've upgraded it so it can hold twice as much as the other barrels. And what I had to do for that was there was two uh, two parts to it. You had to make the storage upgrade and the slots provide the structural kit. So I had to make both of these. They weren't hard to make. The piston was kind of hard. Steel screw, but I, I went through and I made it. And then you shift click one of each of the items on there until it upgrades it. And then there, it says, oh, there's a slot that you, that you can upgrade. And then you upgrade it. It was a little weird, but I just did it and got it out of the way. I'll probably be using more of those. I just didn't have the time for it. I made the bigger EXP tanks. Um, The backpack. Oh, boy. This is really cool. Now, how does it actually show up where? No doesn't show anywhere doesn't show up but I do have a backpack so let's see if we can take it off if I go shift I made a key let's go to options controls and it's X it's under open backpack so if you search for that you'll get it now here's the neat thing if you hold shift X with it in your hand there it is I wonder if I could take it out can I look inside it this way? Yep. But I wanted to just be able to push X at any time and do that. So it, it, it creates a special slot. And then there's more to it. And you can upgrade these things and do all kinds of weird stuff with it. But um, it, I haven't got that got far into it. But basically all I use it for is to store my stuff that I need. Let's uh, take a little bit more of, uh, of the iron. Too. Well, not just the iron. We'll take that much. And I pop that in there. That way when I'm out, I can actually um, repair the tools. And I think I need iron as well because I have these. So we'll bring along iron as well. There we go. And the backpack is so nice to be able to use. To have all these things just right there at our, you know, it is really, really nice. To have all this stuff, no running back and forth. It's really worth it to make it. And it's pretty easy. Let's see. Backpack, is it on here? No. Backpack. Right there. I had the, the tanned leather. Steel ring was easy to make. Those are easy. The tanned leather, or regular leather with that. So, And then I just have them hanging up. Those are already tanned. And I've got a bunch of extra tanned leather up here, too. I could even tan some more. <laughs> Let's do this one. Let's go like that. And put it on there. Now that it takes 10 minutes to tan, I'll pop that up there. But I've got so many from all the cows and everything. It's just ridiculous. Let's take a look at this. Cobblestone to gravel. I put that in the... Was it the macerator? What was that machine? I don't know. We went over the steel ingot mode. If you have any questions about this kind of stuff, just, just ask me and I'll uh, answer. People are really helpful in the comments. There's a lot of good big long comments about um, different things. The steam forge hammer that hammers down cobblestone for me into gravel, and that mountain is covered in clay, which I can make into clay dust and then directly into clay. So, and then there's a desert that I get tons of sand from instantly. So I've got all of those pretty much taken care of. I don't have to worry about those things at all. The forge hammer, we just went over that. That's worth it to make it. I just slapped it on the end. But the alamite, we, we went over that. So you guys should know how to um, make this hammer. 
you don't, if you have any questions about it, let me know. And if you like this kind of comment, please go ahead and um, subscribe. That's the best way to encourage me. And then the um, comments and the likes, that kind of thing. All of this is going to get changed over to... I'm probably going to move this down, make two more of these um, water tanks, and maybe a big steam tank here. Or not steam tank, a big water tank in the middle. That'll just collect water. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> probably not. No, no, no. I'll, I'll feed it into... Um, That'll, that'll be a thing, but not right away. Because this is where the water will get fed into, probably into the steam boilers. And then I'll make, th those will be running, feeding a steam tank. So like maybe at both ends, I'll figure it out. Like this, a bunch of steam boilers back here, feeding into a tank that's sitting here that, feeds a bunch of machines. So you really have to have um, lots of steam on hand to do the different production. And this will be kind of weird. Maybe I can pipe it all down this way and then I have a big tank at this end. And then the production of steam here, steam in the tank, and then a production line down this way and down this way because this has a hole in the wall. This is a pretty, I like my little, <laughs> my little bridge here. I want to make a little a bridge right over from that to that too, so I don't have to walk down and then go upstairs. So, and I might make some stairs inside as well. That might be faster than the ladder. I don't have an elevator yet, but I don't know where to put the stairs. Maybe here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I think this covers a lot. I think we've gone over quite a bit, and we're in good shape. If you guys have any questions about this, this is going to be moved too. I just like to be able to look out here and see if it's lit up. If it goes dark, then I know there's an issue. But um, plant a lot of uh, <laughs> plant a lot of uh, oak trees, tons of those. Lots of ore, uh, aluminum ore berry farm. Make that, and you should be in good shape. Lots of you'll have tons of steel, tons of charcoal. Oh, I got rid of this building. That building's gone. Another building's gone. So I've been knocking these buildings down, and then I'll terraform this to make it nicer what do we get here let's find out what we got oh, we have mushrooms now growing that just that was from a just a random thing what do we get there vines very cool I'll, I'll keep the vines break that down and now I'm carrying these things around too so it's really nice carrying so I can just replant it very easily and there. So I, I'm, I'm happy with that result, so I just leave it there. I'm happy with this one. I probably don't need this anymore, so let's get rid of it. What's this? Don't know. Oh, lily pads. I love those. We can put something down between here. We'll crossbreed that. What's this? It's probably some kind of flower. What's that? Pretty cool. Then I just drop it all off in here. Just like that. And I let this pile up and then I take take the stuff. And the seeds go over here. Once I get an analyzer, then I'll be able to know... Oops, I don't want to take that out. That almost tricked me. There we go. Ooh, and I accidentally put those in there. And they should have gone in here. There we go. Pretty cool. I'll be knocking that down. Knocking out more chickens. Every four or five hours you get a reset of the, the quest. So I just go in and what I've been doing is I've been using this sword to actually level it up to get some EXP on it, some hits. And so I just have been leveling that thing up and I'll probably make that one better as well. And I just drop it. <laughs> you can see I've been doing that a lot. <laughs> Pretty cool. I hope you guys like this. I haven't been using this farm as much. And this house is probably going to go as well. And then, what else? I'm going to move all the um, the villagers eventually downstairs, lead them off into a, like a big villager hall under there. And with that hammer, I can actually build under here. Like, all basically under here. Back here. I might extend this out and build this up. And then back under here will be villager hall. Or maybe, uh, maybe, I no, 
I'll be into an underground villager hall. I'll have to get rid of that building. With a new thing. Let's see if I can just smash it down. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I gotta pick these things. Can I just smash this? Let's see. Smash. Not bad. Nice. Nice. Yeah, a lot faster. Pretty cool. Oh, there's... Oh, that's not... I'd like a lumber... Oh, look at this. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Much faster. So if you get this, it'll go love... You'll be loving life. It's easy. And then I gotta get the lumber axe. So I have to get more, um, whatchamacallit, uh, lava. Lava into obsidian, and I'll be in good shape. Wow, that was, a, that was a lot faster to break down all that stone. Usually it takes me so much longer. Oh, I should press F7 to show the bad things. Bad marks on the ground. I don't see too many. Oh, there's one. Also, there was a weird lightning storm, like a really serious one. And it struck the pigs, and I came out there, and I had never seen this before. There were all, there was vampire pig, uh, pigmen. It turned them into pigmen from the nether, and there was lots of them there, but they weren't mean, and I tried to give them some gold, but it didn't work. So, I'll be making more progress. The lumber axe, the um, excavator, that's my goal. So I'm going to get lava, continue this stuff, farm more things, and the villagers, I I'd love to be able to trade with these villagers, too. Let's see what they have. Let's see if I can poke, poke my head in here. They haven't seen the light of day for a long time. Hello, guys. Oh, I can get emeralds. I can get a peppercorn sapling. Do we have the access to the market? I don't think so. No. So, oh, wait. Something. What is this? I can't, right? There's no recipe for it. What about him? What about him? Pretty cool. There's a bunch back there that I can't see yet. There's nothing to see there, guys. <laughs> All right. Have a good one and enjoy. Oh, I, well, that's not good. I can't see as much. Usually I came up here and I could see all my kingdom. But now I got the big building blocking my way. That's an ugly building. It needs decoration. But I don't have anything to decorate it with really yet. But I will. It'll look nicer. 